think he feels the responsibility of the Chelsea shirt, as he should. Good evening, everyone. Now the only challenge now for Tammy is can you keep doing it? Good evening, everyone. What's up, new boys, and welcome to the 84 Inform Taba Taba. You are sometimes a joke. Literally a joke. What's happening, boys, and welcome to the 84 Inform Abraham. Tammy Abraham, aka Kevin Ogetenega Tamarabi Bakumo Abraham episode. Yeah, the mad lad from Chelsea gets himself his second inform of the year and uh, is quietly turning into one of the crazier strikers in the Premier League. Now, I'm seeing people on Twitter and I'm seeing people elsewhere um, sort of, you know, uh, getting them in their red packs and, and, and not really being that excited about it. Now, would I be excited about getting this 84 uh, Tammy Abraham uh, as a red player pick on the RTG? That's what we're gonna find out today because there are some stats in this card that look kind of crazy He turns into I believe the seventh or eighth best finisher in the Premier League He's got better finishing than Sun, Scream Firmino, Lacazette and one less finishing than the base Aubameyang uh, And I believe that rating is 88 which is what we're gonna check in a few moments here But um, quietly has turned into one of the more slept on and I think underappreciated striker options in the Prem um, And obviously has a really really good link between him being English and then also uh, and also Chelsea I'm gonna make the argument here that he is one of the more underrated and slept on strikers in the Premier League this year and uh, yeah he gets himself some massive upgrades obviously started the year as a 76 rated card uh, has a 238 total in game stat upgrade from uh, from that 76 to this 84 and then 104 total in game stat upgrade from the 81 in form his first in form uh, now to this 84 and he's turns into, apparently, according to Foothead, he turns into a 90-rated uh, striker with the sniper chem style. So that is what we're going to test out today to see if he does well and truly feel like a 90-rated striker. At the very least, we're going to see if he's one of the more slept-on strikers in the Premier League for a player that goes for under 20,000 coins. Now, boys, if these epis are helping you figure out, if you want to maybe try and find one of these cheapish players, yesterday we did the hero uh, Mohamed Bouya Toure episode. You guys absolutely loved it. Um, and then today we're doing another under-the-radar guy that goes for under 25,000 coins you know not too expensive but a guy that could yield you some pretty good results and if if this like I always say boys if these little epis help you figure out something whether or not you want to get a Tammy Abraham or someone else we uh, feature in the squad drop a cheeky mad lad like on the video if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button down below we're gonna get the negative out of the way first three star three star Obviously, you would prefer one of those things to have four star. I, I always say it in order for a player to be truly usable at this stage, at least in like, you know, high end division rivals and then also foot champions, you're going to kind of want at least one of the four stars, uh, preferably on a card like this, the four star weak foot because he doesn't have crazy agility. But um, that is obviously the negative that we're going to get out of the way. Medium, medium, some people would see that as a negative, but I, I've been running Kai Havertz. Uh, he has medium, medium work rates. And as long as you set the uh, custom tactics the right way, that does not factor into anything. So you're fine there. 6-5 is obviously a huge plus now if you couple the fact that he's 6-5 with the fact that he's got 86 sprint speed as well that is an insane combo the 89 strength is a crazy combo for that 94 heading accuracy if this was fifa 14 or 15 or literally any other iteration of fifa where heading uh was a thing this card would be absolutely beastly but um the one stat that i want to point out is that 88 finishing and the 88 attacking positioning on an 84 rated inform card i don't know why i think people are sleeping on that i think people are sleeping on the fact that he's got really really high end finishing stats 86 shot power that's enough we're not going to jack that off and then obviously long shots which we're not going to as well now the other thing that you will notice people say uh, when they when they knock like a lower rated or, or mid-range inform is okay so he's got decent finishing like if he has 83 84 finishing what's his composure like is it like Timo Werner's 79 or whatever he's got 83 with the hunter chem style that goes up to 88 so we're talking about uh, we're talking about a 99 finishing 88 composure striker in the Premier League English for under 20,000 coins with some dribbling stats that aren't that bad. Goes up to 87 dribbling with the sniper and then goes up to 88 ball control with the sniper as well. Reactions go up to 89 and then agility goes up to 82. Now, I'm not going to focus too much on that 75 acceleration. I'm just going to hope that a player like this, I mean, dude, 6'5", you would, you would think that a player that's 6'5 has something like 75 acceleration, but we're going to see if it feels faster uh, faster than that in game. So th those are the stats tackled, and I think there's just some really, really special stats, specific specifically with the sniper chem style, uh, takes him up to a 90. Going with Captain America, of course, if you're doing a Tammy Abraham Chelsea squad, you got to use Captain, uh, Captain America. We're going with 
Good evening, everyone. Ingolo Kante, James Madison, Walcott, and then Adama Traore, who has just pledged allegiance to Mali, will no longer be a Spanish card. I wonder what's going to happen with the cards in game, but uh, will no longer be a Spanish card. He's going to transition over to uh, Mali as his nationality, as of, I believe, a couple days ago. So, uh, this is the squad right here. If we don't have the pace, we're going to bring on uh, we're going to bring on Lucas Mora as our left striker, and then have Tammy Haber Abraham as our right striker. But uh, and because both these guys are big men, both these guys are like th six three and above we've obviously got the big man dance ready to go match number one vamos back post Aylin Abraham go Jimmy Abraham there we go that's the 88 finishing right there boys and he's a big man so he's gonna do the big man Overhead dance kick, let's go dude he looks at, I, I don't understand how he has that strength it looks like an app Hey, that's that 88 finishing coming in to play the the stop. And then, I mean, like, you can't you can't hit that any better. Legitimately can't hit that any better. The byline, great run. Dinks out towards the back post. Aylin, Abraham, go! Come on, boys. Tebby Abraham. Now, that might be a... I don't know if that's, like, a post-patch thing, but you guys remember last... You remember yesterday? <laughs> Have crazy agility, but with the with the fake shot that stops him right there, and then just using the left analog stick to go around, I feel like maybe that's the play. I mean, the ball roll obviously works in that situation as well, but I feel much more comfortable doing that. Bro, Tammy Abraham, two goals in the in the fifth in the first 15 minutes, and I've got Conte as a CDM, so you know this guy's not scoring. Good evening, everyone. You suck, you suck, you suck, you suck, you suck, you suck, you suck. Good evening, everyone. I'm, I'm sorry? You are sometimes a joke. Literally a joke. Yeah, we're going to bring on Lucas Moura in, in place of uh, in place of Vesley. I'm not complaining. We already have two goals. It only took two uh, it only took two total attempts to get the uh, the two goals. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to take off um yeah, we're going to take off Vesley for another Brazilian. We're going to bring on Lucas Mora. This should this should spice things up a little bit. What a penalty! That's a pen. In a penal. Come on, boys. Was that was that outside the box? No, I think that was in. Yes, let's go, boys. Do we take it with PK? It's the ultimate par right there. PK. Good enough! Get out! You're not good enough! Piss off! Pero que es esto? He just absolutely embarrassed my PK. Alright, come on, boys. Pero que es esto? <laughs> you want to know what? Unpopular opinion. Heading is too horrible. Heading is too shystrek this year. That first goal was actually really, really nice. We sent PK to the shop and uh, got two goals within the first 15 minutes. And then outside of that, just not a great performance. A 9.1, a man of the match rating for uh, Tammy Adri Abraham. And 19 out of 24 dribbles completed. Pretty decent from, uh, from that perspective. But this guy, this guy just turned it on when he had to. Only four extra shots on target. He only needed three to put three in. And uh, this guy gets the victory. He deserves it. Now, Tammy Abraham... Has a little bit of the clunk that people are talking about, even with the sniper chem style. Feels a little, little bit clunky, but um, we're going to get in the second match here, and we're going to see if maybe we can combine a, a really nice early start, and then just have like a complete game from the uh, from the mad lad himself. Match number two, let's go. We're going to slap the Hawkeye on him. Going to give him a little bit more, uh, going to give him a little bit more pace. What does he look like here? Okay, so now he's got... Now he's got 91 sprint speed. He's got 80 acceleration. His finishing um, finishing is still really good. Attacking positioning goes up to 98. Shot power goes up to 96. And then all his dribbling stats are going to be the same. Gotta be in. There you go. 
perfect. 1-0. Tammy Abraham. Put him in that position. He's not going to miss. Composure hasn't really been an issue. Field of Harris. Still going the left back towards the byline. Great run. Takes that towards the back post. Aylin. Abraham. Go. Even not recognizing and then to get I think we just got a little bit lucky there but not even recognizing that his keeper I literally woke up 30 minutes ago uh not recognizing that his keeper was coming out a very nice little chip I can't really give I can't give Tammy Abraham too much credit for that because I think that was more user uh that was more user performance but a nice little run and again showcasing that uh showcasing that suddenly top end speed with the um with the Hawkeye chem style and a nice little finish from the mad lad himself <laughs> That's my, that was my bad. That was my fault. I should have ball rolled, I should have fake shot, and I just should have bent around the keeper. <laughs> you want to know what? Unpopular opinion, heading is too horrible. Heading is too scheistrek this year. <laughs> he scores himself the weakest header of FIFA 20. We get the header with him, but I'm pretty sure any player could have put that in from that position. And we go ahead and we get ourselves his hattie with a header and I think it's only fitting because that's obviously one of his uh that's obviously one of the crazier stats given that he's 6'5 but a very weak header at that <laughs> you want to know what unpopular opinion heading is too horrible heading is too shite this year. This season. come on boys 4-1 don't ask me why but I've never felt more confident is he gonna call over please please I need Kante Conte's not going to be in it. All right. The dream would have been Chelsea. Uh, the dream would have been Conte, Abraham, and Pulisic uh, doing the big man together. But, dude, don't ask me why. But when I saw the ball on Pulisic's feet, I was like, you want to know what? He is going to send this over perfectly. Are we up to six goals with Tammy Abraham? I think we might have scored one with Lucas Mora. He might have had enough, dude. Respect. Is he getting out of here? That's a rage quit in the 75th minute. We get a loss in the first match, which I felt like a, was a little bit undeserved, but our opponent was very, very good. Uh, and in this match, we just walked all over him. Tammy Abraham goes nuts and gets us four goals. He's not the most agile player, but at 6'5", of course, you're going to have to make some sacrifices. And I think that Hawkeye, as you guys would have seen in this one, is probably the right way to go. Now, uh, in terms of value, I'm going to give a perfect 5 out of 5. It's not often that I do, but for under 20,000 coins, for getting an English Premier Premier League striker uh, for Chelsea, who obviously has some really good players that you can hybridize as well. I'm going to give it a perfect 5 out of 5, given that he goes for under 20,000 coins, uh, under 20,000 coins on Xbox as well. Now, in terms of on the pitch performance, uh, I am going to, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and I know that he played really, really well, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give him a three and a half, almost like a 3.75 uh, out of 5 Infinity Gauntlet fingers, just because for me, at least, I like to have a little bit of that agility and just, I didn't feel it really with this Tammy Abraham card. And I know, again, six goals in two matches played is incredible, but the reason that I'm marking him down is because he only is three-star, three-star, uh, and then just doesn't, he doesn't have that agility that we're looking for, at least from a top-end card, at least from a card that's usable high-end rivals, and then also foot champions. I don't think people are fully recognizing the fact that he's got the 88 finishing with the 83 composure, a very, very good card. Tammy, mad lad, Abraham, very very, uh, very happy that we were able to do a card. Uh, we were able to do an Epi on Spaghetti here. And then pair him up with uh, Good Evening Everyone, as well as uh, Captain America Christian Pulisic. But that is going to do it, boys, for the Tammy Abraham 84 inform. Second inform, I should say. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed. Hopefully, this has helped you in some way, shape, or form. Figure out maybe if you want to incorporate an 84 Tammy Abraham into your squad, or maybe a Pulisic, maybe a Mora, maybe even a Kante, who goes for 400,000 coins. But uh, hopefully, you guys have enjoyed. If you did, drop a like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. I will catch you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, my bros. Tschüss. Later, a day.